people who are fleeing murder capitals of the world. There are children who are fleeing murder capitals of the world who have fled, most of them, murder capitals of the world. We have families that are fleeing murder capitals of the world. A mother who pays a coyote. Imagine a mother who makes a decision to pay a coyote. When a mother pays a coyote, often through a caravan, with a coyote even, to transport her child through their country of origin, through the entire country of Mexico, of traveling through the entire country of Mexico, to transport her child across the entire country of Mexico, through the entire country of Mexico. It was safer for them to take that trek through Mexico. Facing unknown peril, facing unknown peril, facing unknown peril in what they know could be a perilous journey. We have always presented ourselves as being a nation of strength with strong arms, the strong arms of, of America. Part of the strength of our nation is supposed to be that we have strong arms. That when people are fleeing harm, we will embrace them. Which will embrace and protect anyone fleeing or facing harm. Should be here to, to receive anyone who is fleeing harm. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. But what does Donald Trump do? But what does this president do? He virtually looks at those children and says, go back to where you came from not to flick them away and say, go back to where you came from. And that's the kind of policy we've had from this administration. He says, go back to where you came from. That is not reflective of our America and our values, and it's got to end. And I believe if you come to our border, you will be turned back. If you come to our border, you will be turned back.